Hi, I'm Amelia Smith, a professional stylist, and I'm here to talk to you about some summer hair tips. For this clip, you'll need Shine Serum, Hydrating Shampoo, a leave-in conditioner, and your UV protection product. First thing you want to take into consideration is if you color your hair, to make sure that you use a product, a shampoo and conditioner, that has UVA and UVB protectants in it. If your hair is blonde, like Heather's, you're going to also want to make sure that before you get in that pool, you wet your hair. What that's going to do is that's going to leave less space for that pool water to get into your hair because your hair is already saturated. Also, as soon as you get out of the pool, you're going to want to use a clarifying shampoo to make sure that you strip out any other chlorine or any other um, chemicals that's in the pool. Also, leave-in conditioners, excellent. So whenever you're in the sun or at the beach and you want to make sure that you're just adding extra hydration to your hair, you can spray in a nice leave-in treatment or you can even use a good quality revitalizing conditioner. And what that's going to do is act like a mask while you're sitting at the pool or relaxing on the beach. Um, when you're styling your hair during the summer, you want to make sure that you're very, very gentle with your ends because between summer heat and exposure and then coloring, you're always going to want to make sure that you're going to use some sort of thermal protection prior to using any heat instruments on your hair. Heather here uses the curling iron a lot, and so she uses a lot of thermal protectants plus a hydrating shampoo. And what this is going to do is this is going to add more hydration, especially on these dry ends. Now, if you're afraid of your hair weighing down, because sometimes hydration can do that, use a hydrating shampoo and a lighter conditioner. And that will stop that. Um, prior to drying your hair, a nice shine serum will be great for um, helping with frizz, because we know that heat and humidity tend to cause that. So this can also be used on your hair when dry. So you're just going to take a few little drops and scrunch that in. That will get rid of any frizziness. Also help control frizz while you're out. And add some nice shine and separation. So those are some summer hair tips that will help your hair survive the heat and humidity.